Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Kyle and I'm a local wedding filmmaker photographer here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we have another color grading tutorial inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio and actually using the DJI Mavic 2 Pro footage and exactly how I take it from this into this. So if this is something that interests you, please support the channel, like and subscribe below. It would be much, much appreciated. And honestly, I don't want to waste any more of your time. So let's get into it. All right, what's up? Thank you for joining me again today for another color grading episode. And today we are actually going to be looking at the DJI Mavic 2 Pro footage here. So uh, we have a clip here um, that I shot last summer, um, just a good open scenic clip. We got a lot of green, obviously, in this image, some reflections, just some good color. And this is the actual finished product. This is what we're going to be getting to today. And this is what we were working with um, before. I'm going to show you here. So um, this is our before image and after where we are headed. So. Uh, because this is a tutorial, let's go ahead and delete these notes and we are going to start from scratch here and let's just pop these babies up here and let's get to labeling here. So our first node um, is actually usually reserved for noise reduction, but if we zoom in, this clip is super clean. Um, this is shot in 4K on the DJI. Uh, 30 frames a second just so I have some flexibility to slow it down in post and then uh, the DJI log M I think it is format so uh, has a little bit more dynamic range a little uh, ability to pull push and pull some of the colors and um, I think it's going to be a really good example of even though that I've graded raw footage in the past you can still get some great looks just using 10 bit footage and something that's not in raw so um, and I think it personally matches really well uh, with the black magic so Heading back here, first node, uh, we're actually gonna do the exposure first here, and then our second node is going to be our white balance and or just kind of making some tweaks before we start applying our look um, and overall tone to the image. Our third node is gonna be reserved for color, and our fifth node is gonna be the actual look, and then we will apply some, of course, some little little sharpening on the end, give it a little, little, little crispness, you know? And then uh, at the end, we're going to just give a little little film grain to just finish it off. All right. So first node, here we freaking go. So as always, we are still going to start off with contrast. And we are going to just start bumping this up. It's a great global adjustment to start. It gets you places um, fairly quickly, which is nice. And if you haven't watched any of my videos before, a great thing to note is how much do I need to push contrast like how much is too much and so if i really crank this up things that i'm really looking for is the dark areas and the bright areas of the image you could of course look at the scopes as well um, but overall just looking at the image you just don't want this kind of muddy vibe to it so this is clearly way too much um, so we're going to bring this back down and i'm going to bring it probably right around like 1.45 ish somewhere around there seems like a good spot and then our second option is we're going to adjust the pivot, which is right next to it, okay? So I'm just gonna boost this up a little bit here. Great, okay. Then the third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna up that saturation, start boosting up that color. And you're probably wondering like, yo, man, dude, this is a, this is a lot of color, there's a lot of green in here. But trust me, we can always dial it back later, but you can see here, DGI, man, loves it's green i mean these are just like popping but we'll, we'll we'll tone it down i promise i promise all right so uh normally i love using mid-tone detail but because we don't have any actual like subjects or people in the shot we don't really have to worry about skin tones obviously so um i'm actually going to do the reverse and actually boost the mid-tone detail a little bit just to get some more crispness back in these leaves here and then we're going to go back and we're finally going to start adjusting our wheels. Okay, so lift gamma gain or shadows, kind of mid-tones and highlight area. And I'm gonna go down to my lift and start bringing this down, all right? And I'm also paying attention to the scopes down here to of course make sure that nothing is clipping. And we're gonna bring up the gamma, there we go. Maybe I'll bring this back up. And I'm actually gonna bring the gain down because I feel like the highlights are really popping too much for my taste. So I'm just gonna bring those down to right about there. I think that kind of gives it a, a nicer 
inviting, uh, inviting feel, you could say. All right. And let's just leave it right there for now. Really not too much push and pull that we need to do since it is um, in a 10-bit in a format. Uh, there's, so I, I think we're just, we're, we're going to leave it there. I think it looks good, good there for now. All right. So uh, we're going to move on to our next node, which is white balance. So uh, just making sure everything looks good and clean before we start messing with the colors and everything. I can't stress this enough to get this dialed in first and then apply your look later. And that's really going to help you. Uh, perform a really cohesive look across your film or your edit. Just make it way easier for you. So temperature, honestly, I think is spot on. I'm really not going to adjust that too much. Um, but we are going to bump up the tint a little bit. The reason being is because I know that I have so much green in this image. And so there's kind of this natural green cast to it. So I'm going to just kind of boost up the tint a little bit to add a little bit more magenta in this to kind of overall give it a cleaner nice look all right so looking good so far we're going to go to our third node our color node i'm just going to apply my little color node here or let here excuse me and we're going to it, it kind of gets it places but we're going to do a little bit more in this node to really kind of get the the vibe out so i'm going to go into the second module here hue versus hue and i'm going to click on the yellow icon towards the bottom telling davinci to pull and adjust the hue of the yellows um there's a time and place, I think, for selective adjustments. For my workflow, I think DaVinci does a phenomenal job uh, keying what I want it to do. Um, if you do want to make some more like uh, selective adjustments, of course, you can go in here and do it. But um, this is a little bit faster, and I think, honestly, it's still, it still works great. So um, we're going to take the yellows. We're going to boost this hue up a little bit towards the red. Um, and this is just personal preference for me, but I just like the vibe of it and what it does for the green. So we're going to leave that right there. And then we're gonna go over to hue versus saturation and I'm gonna bring this down. Um, oh, right there, there we go. Perfect yellow, select yellow again. I'm gonna bring that down and probably right about there is looking good. So um, I think that's all I'm gonna do in the color module, but you can see, look at before what our greens look like and after, like big difference there and really start to kind of get this cinematic type vibe to the image. So now I'm going to go to the fourth node, which is the look, and we're going to go back to our primary wheels. And I'm first going to take my gamma and I'm going to lift this up towards the orange. You guys know I love that orange kind of yellow vibe in the midtones. It just, oh, it looks good. But once we do that, look at the highlights. See, they're getting kind of contaminated here. So how am I going to get that out? I'm going to go to my gain, my highlights, and I'm gonna push it more towards kind of the teal in the blue and kind of roll it around until you kind of get that color that you want and you're good. And then I might go back and I'm like, you know what? I think it needs a little bit more warmth in the midtones. And then you're like, oh, you know, I might go back to the gain and push it. Like, again, it's very much a dance, a push and pull. Um, and look at the before and after. Not a huge difference there, but I think it overall kind of helps bring the look uh, together, I'm actually going to bump the gamma up just a little bit more here just to kind of get a little bit more of that brown in the, the trees there. But And then overall, look at the before and after, and then I might, let's see, we'll bring that right there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, just a little, little fine, fine adjustments there. So that's our overall look. And then of course, we can apply some sharpening here. And that's a middle module. Go to the radius, bring that down. Again, a little goes a long way. Just a couple points is more than enough just to give it a little extra crispiness. And if you're feeling uh, if you're feeling adventurous, of course, can finish it off with a little little film grain at the end. So uh, pick pick what you like, whatever your uh, preference is, and we'll leave it right about there. And we are good. So look at this, guys. Look at this. So we got before and after. And that is our note. So look at this. So let's back it up here. So we started off with, if I could, if I could apparently select notes here. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, so this is where we started. Just in this first module, look at how far we came just in one note with just the exposure, right? Then we adjusted our white balance. Not a huge difference, but just kind of some slight tweaks. It was already pretty much dialed in, I think, to start. Not always the case, but it was nice that it was already there. Color node, boom. This is where we got a lot of our vibe, killed the the uh, the greens a little bit, but uh, just I feel like just gives it a, a, a more of an inviting look. 
we applied our look node to bring kind of some warmth back into the trees and then kind of get this teal in the water and then get some sharpening and grain and boom this is it so uh yeah honestly if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe below i will definitely be releasing a lot more of this content in the future i have a ton of fun with it and uh yeah i think this is a, a great example too of you can still get some freaking awesome looks with 10-bit footage i mean look at that it's awesome like they're probably gonna think you shot this in raw and this is straight out of a freaking drone so um hopefully this was helpful guys thank you so much for watching and until the next one peace